Hey there, Rosar here. Welcome, welcome to a brand new episode for GTA 5. And uh, in the previous episode, we actually had to spend some sweet time with our children, or Michael's children. And in this one, we are going to meet Lester. Finally, some bank heists. I mean, bank robberies. And if anybody's new, I want to subscribe to the channel. You can. Click all the hey, notification right? notification things you and the especially the subscribe button. Night. And after that, you can just um, fucking unsubscribe the channel. Hey, it's all up to you. Hey. Remember that. But subscribe it. Yeah, do it right now. Okay. Okay. So as I was saying, as I was going to say. My GTA 5 series is actually pretty good as compared to my Warframe series. The, I mean, uh, the views on this series, I mean, they just pop. Up, up. They're not very, very good, but as compared to Warframe the views, they're pretty damn good. Okay, I'm sorry for the for the previously previously I just I had a bad cough these days. Sorry again. Okay, so I mean my uh, DDS series is doing pretty well. And, uh, Sorry, I actually can't speak properly in this video. Uh, my throat is killing me. I'm sorry. So the thing is, in this one, we are going to meet Lester, and uh, we are going to get more fun here on out. And uh, soon, maybe I might be downloading some mods for GTA 5. We all love mods for GTA. And as I do that, various um, I might be doing various um, role plays in GTA 5. It's the fun, like uh, Spider-Man mod, Batman story mod. I mean, it would be funny seeing him saying nigga and shit like that. And this car is very cool. Okay, so. I guess we have to meet Lester now and uh, do some old shit for him. After that, we can start a bank heist or a robbery. Earn some cash legitimately. Now, uh, to be honest, at this I think I had more than a thousand, more than 1700, maybe 1900 um, all the viewers came onto my channel, but not all the subscribers. So the subscription to non subscription ratio of the viewers is 95.2 uh, to 4.88. 4.88 people are subscribed, they're still watching my videos, 22 are Italian viewers. And, uh, what is this shit? But I mean that was not the way. And uh, 95 point uh, I find two person from the have not subscribed at all. So I recommend you to subscribe. I mean at least 1,000 subs group. Guys, 
this so enough lagging for uh, I mean, subscribers <laughs> um, let's just focus on the mission and uh, yeah I'll be shutting up from here on out so enjoy the rest of the gameplay some bits might be a, a bit too spicy for some of them for some of you or not some of them so so yeah um i think it should be here somewhere um, oh there it is i'm still not sure though Car outside by the pretty boom boom. Okay, it is the right one, so see ya. Fuck you, Lester. You gonna let me in or what? Give me a minute! <sighs> I was wondering when you'd show up. I was dead. Praise be. Guess you weren't very dead. You need my help. How do you know? Because you came here. Why else would you? <clears throat> I haven't been a good friend for you, Lester. I know that. And you're going to make it up to me by doing whatever I ask. Or rather, I, I mean, I need something done. You need to know something. So why not help each other? I got to make some dough. So you're back in the game? I guess. Look, Lester, about what happened before. I know you never mentioned my name. I know I'm not on any lists anywhere. I know you never betrayed me. As for you, you gotta figure that I never told anyone. That instead of gently decomposing in North Yankton, you're angrily decomposing in Los Santos with a shrink and a wife who don't love you no more. Yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> since you put it like that... Hey, shut up a minute. I'm getting an eye find alert. That little college boy sack of shit phony fuck. Who? Jay Norris? Yes. That fuck is a lying bastard. I've read his fucking emails. He's a fucking cheat. I heard him say that he saved America. What, by I... outsourcing all the jobs? By selling us little bits of plastic restricted access shit? Well, now it's payback time, you lying turd. What the hell are you talking about? You are about to get that white-collar gig that you always dreamed of, Mikey. Here, take this, uh... Fashionably retro weird for a 45-year-old man, but I cannot let go of the 1980s bag and dress yourself up like a billionaire math genius with low-level Asperger's. You better be ready for the minor glitch of your repulsive pseudo-messianic life. Okay, Lester. Get out of here! Call me when you're ready. We are about to put the Darwinism back in social Darwinism, and brother, it is gonna be fun. You fucking kidding me? I'm a bank robber, not a web designer. So we'll go robbing soon. I'll find something, just like the old days. <coughs> I'd offer you something, but you were just leaving.
Ah, excuse me. I got this interview at this tech company. I'm thinking I need something, I don't know, geeky, youthful. Lost your job and the world's moved on, huh? That's too bad. I didn't lose my job. Of course. Got too old, got outsourced. Same thing happened to my dad. Now you gotta fit in with a different generation. Huh? What about a vest and some cargo shorts? All right. Dignity aside, I think that might just work. Good luck at the interview. Bye now. Michael? I'm all dressed up. Now, you want to run me through this thing? The prototype is somewhere in the Life Invader office. Find it and fit it with the device in your bag. They just gonna let me in? Why wouldn't they if you looked the part? Hang around till someone opens the door and act entitled. Fine. Hey. Hey. Uh, oh, great. Uh, PM's pushing for more functionality. <laughs> but we are maxed. I mean, if anything, we have to strip features, especially if we plan on releasing a fully yeah. priced update a year later. Oh, my. You know, it's... Yeah, well, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? I mean, we're talking beta in Q4, maybe Q3. Look, milestones are one thing, but when design is changing its mind yeah. seemingly overnight, there's not much you can do about it. You Look, know what I'm saying? Uh, my union allocated smoke bricks bowed up, so... Wait a minute. Do I know you? Yeah, I think so. I, I tea temp, right? Yeah. You know, you gotta do something for me. Ah, uh, you gotta put it in a ticket. Uh, no. I'd like to keep this one out of the database, if you know what I mean. I'm totally becoming a tech evangelist when the big boys... Maybe not even tech. I'll evangelize anything. Even evangelizing. IT guy. Que pasa, amigo? All this natural light blinding you? Hi. Oh, hi. Chill out on the beanbag. Marcus will be right out. Oh, um, I'm gonna take a normal chair. I have a terrible back. Really? The brief was for a relaxed, creative individual, the kind that preferred a beanbag over a real chair, but if you're so... Here you go. If you guys let me use the OS I requested, this wouldn't be a problem. This is a filthy hard drive, bro. Uh, got any antivirus software? I think so. Behind this junk on the left. Clicked an NSFW link, bro. Bit me on the ass. Yeah, not safe for work, huh? You know, my son's computer runs into the same kind of problems. I'll close the pop-ups, see what I can do. Your son codes? Start them early, bro. You write your best stuff in your tweens. After that, it's just a hack job. My glitch fixing is gonna be way down today. <laughs> okay, we got some space. I'll try to boot up this antivirus. And now we scan. There it goes. 
Oh, I need to write some product, Brohim. I'm feeling the itch. Give me a second, will you? And that should do it. Why don't you try and keep things strictly safe for work from now on? Hey, have you seen the prototype in the demo room? When Norris announces it at the keynote, minds are gonna blow. Yes, they are. You should be the leader, dude. <laughs> Making history, dude. Send hey, and we out. couldn't do it without the little guys. Goodbye. Sit, 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 sit. Foot bang, dig fast. Oh. Ow. Come on, you're gonna have to learn the foot bag if you want to get a job here, okay? Follow me. Okay. Oh. Some a-hole drank my effing hemp milk. There was a totally non-passive aggressive note on it. Hold on, I'll buzz you out. Hold on, hold on. Domed! I domed ya! Lester, the thing's in the prototype. I'm going home to watch the keynote. Teabag time, my friend! Lester, did you hear me? Are you playing that game? Yeah, yeah, sorry. The phone is rigged. And what's your problem? You don't like shooters? They're all the same. Besides, you know me. I'm a movie guy. Classic Vinewood. Classic Vinewood ended 30 years ago. Now it's just superheroes, romantic comedies, and remakes, none of which interest me. Hey, I believe this country can still make interesting movies. There's no better way to define American life than a two-hour plot in which the hero looks good and defeats evil. Now, whatever you say, and... has come a long way since we started it in my parents' pool house in East Caraway. Today, you're about to witness a new phase. Full-on, weapons-grade, red alert, world domination! We have put a billion people's private data in the public domain and we have milked every penny we could in the process. And we have one of the youngest workforces in the world. An average age of only 14.4 years? That's not just impressive, it's revolutionary! Today, right here, we're about to make the next step. Prepare to witness the future. The Life Invader mobile device. Yes, we've invented something no one else has ever thought of. A small, personal, computerized device. 
Now you're going to be able to stay docked 24 seven. On the bus, you can dock. On the subway, stay docked. You can be docked at home. And at the same time, you're docking with some kids at the public pool. Dock, 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 dock. We went to the guys at Fruit Computers and we told them we wanted to make our hardware as compatible as possible. But you know what? They're not interested in sharing their technology. So we went and made it compatible anyway. Now you can dock your Life Invader to an iFood phone or any other device. And it'll take all the data off it and reformat it into Life Invader friendly information. At around this point in my presentation, there was meant to be a call for my product team to introduce the device. But we're experiencing some technical difficulties. I hate to keep you waiting any longer, but trust me, it's worth it. And don't worry, I will fire several people for this. Judges. Let's introduce, you love him. I Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Jay Norris to the stage. Hey, this company has come a long way since we started it in my parents' pool house in East Caraway. Today, you're about to witness a new phase full-on, weapons-grade, red-alert, world domination. We have put a billion people's private data in the public domain, and we have milked every penny we could in the process. And we have one of the youngest workforces in the world, an average age of only 14.4 years. That's not just impressive, it's revolutionary. Today, right here, we are about to make the next step. Prepare to witness the future. The Life Invader mobile device. Yes, we've invented something no one else has ever thought of. A small, personal, computerized device. Now you're going to be able to stay docked 24 seven. On the bus, you can dock. On the subway, stay docked. You can be docked. Oh, hold on a second. You. I think someone's trying to dock with me. Hello? Oh! Ah! Oh, Jesus! Whoa! No, 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 Let's... No, 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 no. Whoa! That was heavy. Are you watching the news? I don't have to. I'm watching the markets. I'll be trading pure alpha till close. All right. Hey, about that other thing. You know, the score. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Put on a suit, look somewhat professional, and... Meet me at my warehouse off the LS freeway. Oh, uh, and I'm about to email you a link for the exchange. You can put in some trades of your own. I'm trying to stay off the day trading. Uh, but maybe I'll take a look. <laughs>